Hi, it's Brian, your 3D engineer. And I'm back to talk about working with a certain type of model, specifically a big one. No, not that kind of big. I mean a large assembly, like this packaging machine or this tractor. There are a lot of interconnected parts in this assembly, which makes it a pretty complex model to work with. Here, let me show you. I'll just open the model and... Right. Well, I could go make myself a sandwich, but that probably doesn't help my model at all. So maybe you're starting to see the challenge. The thing is, the model is so complex and has so many parts, it's hard for my CAD system to load up easily or quickly. Well, duh, Brian, you're not working on the whole assembly at once. You're only working on one part at a time. So just load up that part, problem solved. Good thinking, but not so fast. I mean, say I'm working on this coupling. Or is it this coupling? Hmm, how do I know which is the right coupling without seeing it in the context of the whole model? Or maybe the part I'm working on is more distinctive than a coupling. Let's say it's the bucket and lift arm for this tractor. At least I can be pretty sure that this is the right part. I mean, there's only one of them. So now I'm cruising right along, making changes here, tweaks there. Ta-da, wonderful job, Brian. Or is it? See, if I could see the whole assembly, I'd realize that the change I made here means that I'm restricting the movement of the lift arm, here. And a lift arm that doesn't lift is not going to make the customer happy. There are other reasons I might want to see the whole assembly as well. I mean, I do have to make sure that the finished product looks cool. So what's the trick? Okay, I do need to see the whole model, but I don't need to see the whole model. What I mean by that is just that I don't need all of the detail on all of my assembly parts all the time. By foregoing some of the detail initially, I can load up a light version of my whole assembly, almost like a sketch or an outline, and then get more and more detail as I zoom into the particular set of data I need to work on. And then, if I stop to make a sandwich, it's just because I'm hungry. Mmm. Speaking of sandwiches, they're sort of like assemblies in a way as well. Think about it. When I think of a sandwich, I know it has some bread, it probably has some meat, maybe some cheese, and it has some toppings. But maybe yesterday's sandwich was a ham and cheese on wheat bread, while today's sandwich is peanut butter and pickles on rye bread. Or maybe you had an extra piece of bread with ham and pickles on the top part, and um, peanut butter and cheese on the bottom. The point is, there are nearly an unlimited number of options and configurations for a sandwich. And whether I'd eat it or not, it can still be called a sandwich. Do you see where I'm going with this? No? Hmm. How about this? Let's get back to my tractor. Remember I said I was working on the bucket and lift arm? This one? But really, there are a ton of different bucket and lift arm options for this particular tractor and a ton of different seat options, and a ton of different wheel options. And I could pick any one of these buckets, any one of these seat types, and any one of these wheels and make a tractor. Or maybe I can't, because this set of wheels can't go with that seat option, and this bucket can't go with that set of wheels, but this bucket can go with this seat, as long as these wheels aren't chosen. <laughs> Phew, that's a lot of different options, and a lot of combinations to remember. Where do I even begin? Trying to figure out which combinations of parts will make a tractor is going to take a while. And my sandwich is still waiting. What I need to know is which options are available based on each successive selection I make. So say I really want these tires. I mean, who wouldn't? I know that by choosing these tires, I can only pick from these three bucket and lift arms and from these five seats. So now I pick, um, this bucket and lift arm and that limits my seat choices down to these three. Suddenly, I'm feeling a lot less overwhelmed. My life is looking pretty good. By loading a light version of my assembly, I can get it up and running quickly, while still making sure that I'm working on the right part and without causing any clash or interference problems in my model. I can also manage the configuration of my assembly by dynamically limiting my choices based on my subsequent selections, all with no waiting. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I couldn't wait for my sandwich either. Want to know more about working with assemblies? Go here to learn more. Until next time.